Hello, everybody. Um, it's Lester. Hey, I'm sorry I've been gone for a while. Um, I've been a little bit busy, but um, I'm gonna have some time to myself now. Um, now, uh, just for the holidays, you know. Um, but first, I'd like to give a shout out to my um, new friend Artie. Uh, and Artie has made a, um, you know, just his own sort of how to draw thing. I mean, um, you know, it's, I mean, it's just between you and me, it's a little bit amateurish, but. Um, the important thing, I think, is that you just keep trying and um, and just don't let uh, don't let any sort of perceived lack of talent get you down and um, let you stop trying. So um, anyway, uh, today we're going to draw us um, Sacagawea, and she was a famous Native American in um, our nation's history, unless um, you're Canadian. But um, in well, I mean, when I say our nations, I mean America. Like I think that's usually what people mean when they say that. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to draw today. So, first off, um, oh, this is kind of complicated, um, I don't know, we'll just start with the kind of face area. And I have, um, already messed that up a little bit, but today we're going to work on incorporating mistakes into the picture. Like, that can start to be our hairline. And just draw the rest of it over and have it come down here. Then she's got kind of an ear going up into her hair. So, um, yeah, Lewis and Clark um, were famous pioneers back in the early days of the Wild West. And they helped discover large parts of a lot with... I mean, like, it wasn't America yet, but it would later be America. Um, you know, mostly thanks to them. But she helps too. Like she, um, she went around with them, and she told them where they could find food and water and Indian cities. And um, overall, she's just kind of an important part of our nation's history. And um, that's where they put her on the dollar coins from two thousand. I mean, like now they have like real, you know, presidents and stuff. But um, but back then she was a pretty important person, so that's why they put her on the money. Um, so let's see. I mean, I'm not really sure how they got a photograph of her since they didn't have um, cameras in the 19th century, but um, I'm just going to assume that's just, like, a really good painting. Um, I mean, like, have you seen a lot of those paintings they have where it's just, like, you can't even tell if it's real or not? Like, there's this guy with... Um, it's, it's not the one with, like, the panda hat, but it's just this Dutch guy who drew a picture of this old man. And, like, it, it looks really realistic, like, um, I, I, I can't even describe it, but, um, it, it's really good. I guess I could describe it, because it's just sort of like this Sacagawea painting here. Okay, so make sure you get both of her braids coming down here. And a lot of people might think this one's kind of a beard or something, because it's coming out of that part of her chin, but don't be fooled, because... It's her braid from her head. I mean, she doesn't have, like, a braided beard, but I have met people who have braided beards, so it doesn't pay to judge. So you might be wondering why the resolution's a little bit lower than normal, and that's because um, I'm, I'm using a different computer for a while, just trying a few things out, because, uh, you know, I think, like, everyone's always so focused on having, like, HD graphics or pixel shading 900.0 that um I kind of messed up on that either I'm sorry um I just think people need to get back to their roots you know because a lot of us played kind of pixely blocky games when we were kids and um I think that we should kind of reflect that with the things we do later in life to show you know honor where it all began um because a lot of people think they're too good for those things, and, and I really don't think that. So don't forget the eyelids, you know, we've been kind of neglecting the eyelids lately, and we need to get those in the picture. Get, um, get a couple of pupils for her eyes. And do not forget the ear detail. I mean, like, for most people, even then you could probably tell, but for someone who's on currency, you know, they really do need to have as much detail as you can get in there, because otherwise the uh, the U.S. Treasury wouldn't 
um, let them have coins if the people's faces weren't actually that detailed. So yeah, she's got some sort of Bluetooth thing on here. Um, hmm. Not really sure what else to do for the face. Maybe give her some lips. And these... Uh, I don't know what these are. Um, so the neck comes down like this. And uh, remember, you, you want to get every detail. So if there are these beads here. She's wearing them in a necklace. And her, um, the neckline of her shirt. We're kind of extrapolating here with her shoulders. Um, because, you know, historically we don't really know what her shoulders is like. Because this is the only surviving painting of her, so we just, um, kind of have to guess. You know, most people have pretty similar shoulders. Maybe she didn't, but I think it's a risk we'll have to take. I mean, like, some of the best, um, some of my favorite movies and books are about historical events, but they take kind of liberties with them. Um, and I think that's generally okay. Just, it makes it for kind of a more interesting story overall. Um, you know, like, I don't know, Crime and Punishment, you know, it takes kind of a few liberties here and there, but overall, it's, um, it's, it's okay for the story. You know, The Great Gatsby, uh, it's just it really inaccurate, but, you know, what can you do? So draw these, uh, necklace things coming down out of her neck. They probably represented, um, life force or, um, I don't know, some sort of magic thing. Um, you know, finish off her shoulders, you know, lower part, kind of draw that. It's, it's like a bust, you know, like a statue. You can, you can draw that even though she's not actually just like a floating torso. Um, because otherwise how would she have followed Lewis and Clark around? Uh, some random feathers coming out of her head. Some sort of thing. I don't know. I, I don't really wear feathers in my hair, so I can't really comment, but... That is that. And there is Sagajawea. So, I'm sorry this is a little bit late for Thanksgiving, but... Um, I mean, like, people always say the holidays, but they mean, like, Christmas, but Thanksgiving's also a holiday, so... Um, that kind of fits in pretty well, I think, with the uh, overall season that we're at right now. Um, so just keep the ideas coming, you know. Um, feel free to let me know. And I'll just do my best to make the best drawing tutorials I can. Alright, um, thank you. See you later.